Hi, everyone. We are so excited that you're joining us today on X Level Exclusives and Lives. We are going to be joined by my two fabulous friends, Vince, my great business partner in Los Angeles with Inclusion Management, as well as one of our great actors, Mariana P. Vicente, who you're going to love. Hello, Vince. I know we're getting all of us started. How are you? Hi, Mariana. Hi. So in the meantime, so Mariana, which I'm super excited that you're an amazing actress. Thank you. I guess right now we're doing a little bit of improv as we speak, right? Which is good. <laughs> This is an exercise. And, and I'm so excited because you've also become a holy mother of makeup ambassador, which is fantastic. Like, I have my palette with me. I actually used it today for the first time because I got it, I think it was yesterday. Um, I'm super excited um, to, one, do my makeup at all because I've been, you know, living makeup free and in my sweatpants. Um, so it's nice to have a reason to do my makeup for it. And um, I love the colors. I'm so excited to do more with the like with the cooler colors i just went for the pinkish today oh, so the pink. hey guys can you guys hear me i'm back yeah oh, we can hear you yay yeah. back in vince so no worries well you know mariana i'm wearing my holy mother of makeup the valentina lipstick today oh, um, which i was so excited when cynthia brought this to drop off yesterday but when i saw this i was like look at the beautiful packaging as well that came I know, in i was I like i love the packaging it's so right beautiful. It looks absolutely fabulous and so much fun. And with that being stated, I also wanted to quickly just say thank you to Isabella, our intern. So, you know, right now it was Earth Week, you know, Earth Day, of course, right. 50th anniversary. And she brought me these beautiful earrings. Um, these are Lula Mena. They are from El Salvador, the designer, which I really like. And it's all sustainable. So I just love everything that has been and i know since we were hollywood i know that the yeah. Oscars gave these away as a gift before and i was going thank you you know I, I i got to wear my earrings as well thanks to sweet isabella awesome. um, very so cute very cute so i know that you know to kind of get us all started on i know a lot of all three of us and thank you vince i'm glad we can all hear each other now yeah. it's hilarious. Like there was <laughs> things, little laughter things going on a while ago which was hilarious it's always um, fun these live things are always fun it's you always never know what to expect. <laughs> exactly. And you know, if life has taught us anything, it's just you just keep on going the best way you can. So I just want to say something before we get started. Yes. Yeah, I'm working from the office. No one's here. So very social distancing. As you can see, I miss my view. Yeah. You know, this it's really beautiful. encouraged me to work in Hollywood. It's just, it gives you vision with the Warner Brother yeah. lot behind me. And uh, this is Silali's home, home too, when she lays. So Silali, it's all over. We need to do something fabulous here in Los Angeles. I know. I know. I miss our view. I will say I know, you know, that that whole that lot is magical. Right. There's something about that area that is just like I you, love it. You know that's so true. That was one of the reasons why I came today. I don't live too far from here. I live in the hills in Burbank. But it's not the same. You come here and like I'm doing work and you just feel yeah. the energy, even though yeah. no one's down there. But you yeah. just feel that synergy. You just feel that creative energy in this area. So, mm -hmm. yes, I'm in beautiful Burbank, which is a suburb to Los Angeles where the Warner Brother lot is. So, well, yeah. sorry, I don't I don't I just want to like say something real quick. Yeah. Um, there's something about talking about uh, the magic of that lot. Um, I brought I took my family um a little bit over a year ago i took them to do the the tour right the lot tour and as i was doing it i was like oh my gosh i just want to work here so bad and um and i just like really wanted to manifest that so i wrote it down in my my list of things that i want to manifest for the year i was like i am going to film something i'm going to work as an actress I was like, I have to be very specific because if I say I'm going to work in the, right. <laughs> right. Right. the like, I get a job in the Starbucks. I don't right. want that one. I want the actress job. That's funny. Um, and uh, in the Warner Brothers Studios this year and probably like two or three months later, I booked um, a role for on Lucifer right. um, shot in Warner Brothers. Oh, and wow. that was it was incredible. So your dream came true. 
It did. So and now I just need a book. Now I have to be more specific and book a recurring role. Where you're re, no recurring, a series regular where you're there series, three, four exactly. months out of the year working. Exactly. I need well, to be a little bit more lunch specific. With you. So exactly. I can come and have lunch with you while you're on set. <laughs> and, you know, and going back to that, it's interesting for me as well, because I remember when I was like, OK, we're going to be making some changes in entertainment. And it was back in September when I met with with Vince and with Javier there. And I'll never forget walking into the conference room and seeing the Warner Brothers logo, you know, on the water tower and looking down. And there was just this empowerment feeling of being like, wow. We're looking down at Warner Brothers from our conference room, you know, really? here. And it was just, there's a beautiful energy in that. Um, and as a Latina, it's just like this, this perspective of like, wow, yeah. I'm on top in this beautiful glass tower looking down at this thing. This is what yeah. we're doing. We're actually making change all together, which is exactly. really, really exciting for us. And yeah. on that note, I'm curious True. for all of us, you know, especially for you, Mariana. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing, doing, you know, during quarantine right now, because I think one of the biggest things and both of all three of us are into empowerment, but your perspective on it, I think is so beautiful. And I'd love for you to give some people some advice on some of the things that you're doing as well. Yeah, of course. Um, so, you know, I started out really strong with my quarantine um, motivation. Um, I saw this I kind of as, as an opportunity. Um, I mean, really, there's nothing we can do about it. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to take this opportunity to really grow, learn, expand, be the best that I can and just kind of go, go for it. Um, so one of the things that well, a few things I've been doing daily, um, one of them we talked about was um, the to be magnetic workshops. And um, and that's all about manifesting and kind of um, rewiring your brain, your subconscious beliefs so that you can raise your worth um, in different areas of your life, wherever you kind of need to work on. And so she'll like the workshops have um, deep imaginings, which are uh, meditations and mm -hmm. that I do also daily with the workshop. And it kind of forces you to like work through your own blocks, you know, like we all have blockages. Right. Um, and so that's been absolutely amazing because I, I read the other day, somebody wrote, um, on Instagram, like a comment, the, the universe doesn't care about quarantine. Basically she was saying, um, you can still manifest like the right. universe doesn't know we're quarantined. You know, he, the universe is like, you know, put that energy out there, do the work and I'll, and I'll still, uh, repay it. You know, you'll still, you can still manifest things from quarantine. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now um with those workshops and um and, and just kind of uh looking for other ways that i can um center myself and also mm -hmm. learn um so i'm doing online master class the master class online classes um i am um i've been doing like instagram acting challenges um just trying to find absolutely any opportunity that i can to um not only grow and learn, but also to um, get my stuff out there, get my, my, have people look at my acting. Um, you know, right now I wrote, um, I want to do a, a Spanish monologue because a lot of people have seen me acting in English, but not in Spanish. Right. So just, you know, setting your ego aside and kind of taking action and, and, and doing things so that right. um, hopefully we come out of this quarantine and there's some manifestations manifestations that come through for me well i love how you're utilizing your time as well when you said the master classes i know i've also been doing some on mind valley as well and also thank you for introducing introducing me to the to be magnetic because i loved it um i've been doing that too so i think yeah. for many of us that can you're utilizing this time to really work on something within yourself Mm -hmm. and during this reflection period has really been, I feel, paying off in the long run for everyone else. Because I know, Vince, you keep on saying about when we go back out, it's going to be a different Hollywood. And yeah. actors that are, or talent, producers, directors that are really taking the time. And I think that that actually goes into all areas of life for those that are really working on utilizing this time for those that can. Um, to really work on ourselves, I think it's going to really propel you in your careers or moving forward. 
And I've actually been very impressed, Mariana, because I've seen that on yours. I also saw that you did some Instagram lives, like workout classes on Saturdays. They yeah. did time as well, um, which has been fun. So tell us a little bit about that as well. Well, I, I explained this to my husband the other day because I – I feel like there are so different. So, is your husband people. working out with you? You is he working he out is. with you? Is. I somehow okay. I got him to do it, and now he's doing it. But let's not make it a big deal because he's very hard to convince. So he might back out now. But okay, um, <laughs> he is doing them with me. Uh, but I was I was telling him that there are different types of personalities, which are all you know they're fine. Um, hmm. But my type of personality, which sometimes bothers me that I'm like this, but, you know, there's like three levels to me, to this, like to everything in life, but that have really come through in this quarantine. Level one is just to be present and to be OK with being present and enjoying the moment. Um, and I feel like a lot of people during quarantine are, are finding themselves there like, oh, I just have to learn to be present. I just have to learn Absolutely. to enjoy myself. Yeah. Um, level two is what can I do? to take advantage of this time and better myself. So I've been on level two. Okay, let me take a class, let me read a book, let me take an online guitar class, let me this and that. Right. Level three for me is um, now what, what can I do to help others during this time? How can, right. what, how can I be of service to others? What does the universe want from during this? Um, so I, have been asking myself a lot that question and I haven't really truly figured it out, but I have been trying to do little things like, like tomorrow's, uh, which I do every Saturday, um, a live Instagram workout because I feel it might not seem like a big deal, but I just want people to know that they have that, that they can, um, that every Saturday they'll have somebody that they can turn to and be like, Oh, I don't have to figure out my own work. It's right here. We can, right. we can do it with them you know and um and and to feel that motivation um and then you know i'll do things like share um some of lacy's uh to be magnetic workshops yeah. and like their, her discounts and stuff like that um i'm about to i just became a uh, jay shetty he's um he's uh um he used to be a monk he's now a a, a coach uh motivational speaker he has mm -hmm. a podcast um literally just became um his like associate for this like new certification program that he has. Um, and, and so I just, I'm trying to find ways to like spread good energy right. and, um, and spread some love. Cause it's, you know, it's hard. Right. Exactly. And, and you, I love it. Go ahead. I mean, you know what, excuse me, you know, Mariana, that I am just want to commend you on all the work you're doing on social media. Cause you're not Thank sitting you. home. You're creating your own destiny. And I know as a Latina, you don't look the part. You, you're, mm -hmm. you're very light skin, mm -hmm. not what tip, the typical what Hollywood expects Latinos to look like. Yeah. And the fact that you put your eagle aside and you said, mm -hmm. you know, for, foremost, I'm an actress. Mm -hmm. So I love that you're just being out there and you're putting, in, you're putting your artistry out there. Mm -hmm. And I know you've gotten some results because you shared with me some things that have happened in the last couple of days. So yeah. I want to commend you on that, that you're not sitting there waiting for somebody to give you an opportunity. You're creating your own destiny and you're making things happen. And people yeah. are seeing that. And I just want to commend you because, you know, that's awesome. As a man, as your manager, I love when Mike does that. Cause it's, even though we're in quarantine and people are home, just to see that you're doing that. I've been talking about you and it's so easy to direct people to your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Look, she's doing it right now. Look, you know, mm -hmm. this is happening now in the moment. Thank you. So, you know, bravo. I, I just want to come Thank in you here. so much. I, I mean, I, I, I mentioned to you before, I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's cool when you have connections and, and, um, and not saying that I'm not somewhat connected, but I, I, as a Latina, I can't really afford to have an ego. I can't really afford cool. to be like, oh, whenever something falls out of the sky for me, like, yes, I'm still going out for auditions. Yes, I'm still you know, trying to make meaningful connections and, and, and get people to see me in, in, um, in a different light, like, and see me as an actress and see me like in a serious role. But meanwhile, I'm not going to sit around because I can't afford it. I want to, like you said, I want to create my own destiny. I want to have control of it. There's something really empowering about, um, creating your own projects with people that are like-minded that are, um, beautiful people, you know, that, that bring in great energy to your work and um and i feel like 
when you take action, it doesn't matter. The universe doesn't really know or understand. Um, I mean, it understands, but doesn't really differentiate between like small actions and large actions. Right. It's just action. So for me, I feel like um, just taking any type of action daily or every other day. And sometimes, you know, it's okay to not put pressure on yourself and, and rest, but, but having that momentum and keeping it um, going, I feel it's a really big message to the universe. Like I'm, I don't only think and, and want it here. I'm, I'm actually going out and doing things and you're putting that energy out. And there's, for me, no way that, um, that you can't, you, that's the way that you manifest. It just yeah. happens. Like when you're putting your mind, your, your heart and uh, your physical body into something, Right. You just end up manifesting. So right. that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm trying to um, set my ego aside because we all have a little bit of ego. And sometimes like, should I put my reel on Instagram? Like I, I only had three lines on American Horror Story or whatever. But um, and, and you and, 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 and it tries to hurt you like, oh, maybe you're not good enough or maybe you're lame by putting your real on Instagram, but you know what? No, it's a great opportunity to get people to Absolutely. see my real. Yeah. And, and you know, I did people a pretty good job. All right. And you know, and so try and like set your ego aside and, mm. and do what's right for you and the best for you. And that might be something different for you than for me. Some mm. actors might think, you know, I'll do an online class. I'll do, um, I'll just do my inner work here at my home where I'll just like do monologues all day or, you know, or I'll call a friend um, every week and we'll do Skype, uh, uh, Zoom meetings or Skype meetings. And, and, and that's, everybody has a different way of right. putting themselves into action, but, but just do something. Right. But don't you agree? And I, and, and with what you both are saying, there's two things I really want to touch upon. Um, and, and so let me start with one, we were talking about right now about the social media and different things. Because I've also have heard sometimes where I'm a serious actor. So serious actors, not on social media or, or different things like that. And I feel like those days are, are not no longer present because it's also a way for people to be aware of you and to know your path and to know your work. So Mariana, I'd love to hear from you on that perspective as well about not being afraid of it. Because I, I saw you touch upon it with the ego and with the real, but I just think that something like that is very important and, and it's necessary because I know like you're in San Antonio, when you're a new actor, sometimes you think everything has to be perfect. And it's like, uh, no, it isn't. So oh, like, no way. The more, the more you're in this, in, in this industry, the more you realize it's so imperfect. Um, yeah. And I think um, uh, we've proven, uh, it's proven that there is there are so many serious actors that are on Instagram. Right. That, um, and, 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 and besides that, I feel like, honestly, you know what I've learned? Probably because I'm like older now and wiser, <laughs> but not so. We all look young. <laughs> but I can still play 18 to, to 25. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, just feel like. I have admitted to you I, on something in that range. Okay. Yes, you have. I know. <laughs> um, it, it honestly, it's to let go of what you think, uh, what perceptions people might have of you, and, mm, well um, and you have control of your life and your um, image. And and I just feel like there's why do we limit ourselves so much? You know, no, um, a serious actor. If you if if somebody didn't feel like I was a serious actor because I have an Instagram and I'll post like bloggy photos or like a photo of my food or whatever. I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, my serious acting falls over my serious work. So if you want to go look at my reel, if you want to go, um, if you want to sit down and, and run over some lines, um, that's where I can, um, show my work. Um, yeah. obviously it doesn't, not everything has to be super connected to your work. You know, Instagram yeah. is also for making connections for, for being, setting up a, a good example for being positive for, um, Absolutely. you know, for other reasons. So you don't have to, um, uh, everything has to be related to your work. You kind of make that separation and yeah. yes, use it as a platform too, if you need to, but, um, yeah, I just feel like I've, I've just kind of let go of that, of, of, of 
just that pressure, you know? And, you know, and Alex Castillo um, put in, in, in the messages, he did put, he goes, Meryl Streep, is exactly. on social media too. So, you know, Alex, you definitely get a shout out on that one. That was amazing. And you know um, what, and Jenny, in regards to the whole social media thing, I think uh -huh. it also allows people to see that you're a real person. Like yeah. you're cooking, you're working out. Right. And I know when I'm looking for someone and I go online, I look at their work, but then I get an essence of who they are as a human being. And then, yeah. you know, because you always want to work with people that, there's chemistry that you they, they have the same vision as you. So I think social media allows you to kind of tap into that it's personal. Like a little stuff. background check. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. No, definitely. And you know, and on that note, and I'm gonna bring up Holy Mother of Makeup just a little bit on it because you spoke about it as an actress as well. Is as a Latina, because you're Latina, it is a Puerto Rico, um, speak fluent Spanish. And I love how earlier when we were talking about this, how you and your friends are wanting to be disruptors, just like I do in next level of showcasing that there's Latinos of all different shades, all different perspectives, all different socioeconomic statuses. And that's what's beautiful. And that's what I loved about the original launch campaign. And I'm so excited about you, Montserrat, you know, Camila, all these other people have joined the Holy Mother of Makeup movement because we're unifying and showing Hollywood, the media, that there are so many of us and our diversity is what makes us beautiful. But I love that you were talking about how you and your friends are also working on some scripts and also some shows to yeah. address those issues. And do you mind talking yeah. a little bit about that? Of course. Um, yeah, I, I mean, everybody knows I don't look Puerto Rican or what the stereotypical Puerto Rican look is um, in Hollywood, what they expect you to look like. Um, cause I'm a hundred percent Puerto Rican. I go back home and you, you sit down at a mall and you see absolutely everything. You see all yeah, shapes and colors. And, um, and so, but here in Hollywood, it's very, um, very stereotypical when it comes to Latina still. Um, and, um, so obviously, I mean, I'm okay with playing anything. I'm okay yeah. with. I think that's the beauty of being an actor is um, just nobody knowing where you're from, really. Mm -hmm. But um, but I obviously the Mariana Vicente like normal person, not actor side of me is like, yeah. what up, Puerto Rican? I'm so proud. I want everybody to know I'm Puerto Rican, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yes. so, um, so some of the projects that we've been uh, that I've been creating with friends are kind of tailored made for us and like our own experiences. Um, so we're creating characters for ourselves that are based on our real life experiences of like not looking Puerto Rican enough or being like like looking Latino but being raised in the U.S. and not knowing Spanish and you know like that yeah. that that dilemma of like what is being Latino like you know people have this like such a specific idea but it, no it's so broad you know right. and so Absolutely. we want to like kind of um play on that um, and so I have several, I actually have two projects that are um, about that, that we're working on right now. Um, one is on uh, in post-production and the other one, we're just still in the writing stages, but um, yeah, but it's fun. It's fun to like have those roles and, um, and, and for me to like have that sentimental like attachment to it. Cause I'm like, oh, yeah. this happened to me. And, right. Oh, gosh, and every time I, I have an experience, I'm like, oh, I have to write this down, you know? Right. <laughs> you you sure. mentioned earlier that you were working on a project in regards to quarantine. Can oh, that's true. Yeah, I that's think that's interesting because that's yeah, what's yeah. happening now. We, um, we are also working on another project. Um, it's just a quarantine show, a quarantine. Uh, we're going to do like mini episodes. Um, it's interesting. We are still trying to figure out how we're going to film it, but we're going to film it from our homes. Obviously, we're in different states. Um, mm -hmm. And um, the the premise so far is really fun. I can't really talk about it, but I, I, I think, you know, we, we want to leave it with a really big cliffhanger so that hopefully when the quarantine's over, we can maybe try and sell a second season somewhere. And, and we're um, hoping uh, to sell it to somebody like Quibi, you know, that is uh, this new Absolutely. platform that has like short um, episodes and they are actually looking for quarantine material right now. So that's really exciting. That's great. Um, yeah, that's great. just trying to be creative and like, no. 
and like actually getting to the point of doing because one thing is like oh it would be cool if you do this and but we want to like really push ourselves to like let's actually like see this through and do it um because yeah. a lot of people will have ideas but not a lot of people will actually um push through and that's, that's like true. sorry one last thing that's i talked true. so much but no i love it um jason bateman <laughs> who i work with on ozark was incredible enough and i will never i will always hopefully one day say this uh, as I win an award. Um, yes, you will. We're putting that there. <laughs> Jason Bateman is like one of the people that mostly has inspired me in this industry because he took the time to read over my material for the series that I um, created with a group of friends that were in post-production right now. And he gave me a whole bunch of, 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 of notes. Mm -hmm. And one of the, the first thing that he said was, um, first of all, I just want to let you know that it's incredible that you're doing this. And he said, stick with it because it might seem like a lot of, of people are writing and creating and doing, but not a lot of them stick with it. Mm -hmm. And, and that's where your success is going to come from, from you actually getting a project done and then doing another one and then learning and doing another one. And, um, and, and, and so that's like his, that advice is stuck with me. So I'm always like, yeah, this is a great idea, but let's actually do it, you know? Right. Yes, let's actually make that action happen, as you said yeah. earlier. You know, one of the things, speaking of, um, before we, because I know we have time for about two more questions. One of the things I wanted to ask you as well is, earlier you spoke briefly on this, but I think it's also important for actors to know, one thing I've seen you do is also is your monologue challenge or different things that are out there. So I think sometimes people think they have to be formal, formal classes and it's not necessarily that to get their craft out there. So can you go and elaborate a little bit more about that too? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't have like the best situation. Like I wish I could have like left Puerto Rico and went to theater school. Right. Um, that wasn't the case. I didn't have that. Um, I didn't have those opportunities. I didn't have that um, financial like stability. Right. But um, I did absolutely everything I could to take different classes, like independent classes. To I would meet an acting coach, and I would be like, I want to do a one on one, and I would like bring in an audition, and just like continuously uh, do, work with different, do different classes, workshops, anything that I could do. Um, mm -hmm. Read books. Um, do a scene study with a friend, you know, cause at the end of the day, again, it's about the work that you put into and you kind of start adapting little things here and there. Um, and you work with different actors and you ask them and I ask them questions. I'm not, I don't just work with somebody. Um, I'm probably really annoying to work with. Cause I'm like, Oh my gosh, what were you thinking about when you were doing this scene? I want to know your process. Like I just kind of pick your brain and it's because I feel like, there's opportunity to learn in everything and mm -hmm. challenges like actor Instagram challenges uh, or, you know, whatever opportunity that comes your way is an opportunity for you to learn and grow. Because um, right. you learn something about yourself as well when you're doing anything, really. Right. So, no, yeah. And, you know, one thing that we talked about, and I think all three of us when we were chatting earlier, is I love the conversation about the ego. Mm -hmm. and about us working through that. And I think that that is something that is really important. And I loved what you talked about, how you worked on the movie set. So do you mind going into that? And then I'd love to hear from you, Vince, on that too, at, right after Mariana. Oh, um, so I, work, uh, I worked on a film last summer. It was an independent film. And obviously, um, indie films are or low, low budget films are a completely different monster from like a studio, big studio film right. um and you kind of go into into a movie with that mindset like this is going to be different it's going to be more intimate it's going to be um smaller crew you know um but anyway um so the people that i worked with were amazing so like kind-hearted loving and actually really talented but they were kind of unorganized and okay. They were very unorganized. <laughs> they were very unorganized. And was wow. I remember getting that phone call from you saying, yes. 
I told you the point I called Vince and I was like, Vince, I cannot work like this because right. there has to be a certain stability right. to an actor. There has to be a certain, like, I need to know what I'm working on tomorrow morning because right. I need to know my lines. I, right. need to be, I need to be prepared. And the only person who's going to look bad tomorrow is me. Right. Um, so, but, so for that, there's a difference between ego and like being a professional and being and, and having values and having morals. But right. Um, for example, one, another day, I had a I had an off day, and they were filming. And they were a little bit behind, um, and I called the director and I told him, "Hey, do you need me to come in today?" Um, and he's like, "No, you have your day off." And I was like, "No, no, do you need me to come in and help out with anything? I'll be a PA. I'll I'll assist with anything. I'll go get lunch. I don't care um, because I felt like that's where you set your ego aside right. when you're working on something." you have to give your 100%. You have to be available to help hair and makeup or help, you know, whatever. Because that not only makes you memorable, but again, you're also putting that energy out. Like right. you're, you're being um, proactive and you're being um, more than a professional and people are going to remember you for that. Right. Um, and so, yeah, when it comes to egos, I, I feel like you have to set your ego aside. But... Mm -hmm no difference between ego and like boundaries that are your own personal boundaries that um, you can have, Absolutely. you can definitely have. Right. And to, just for definition for someone that's out there, what would you say would be a personal boundary versus ego? Um, a personal boundary would be like, I would, I wouldn't do a nude scene. Right. Like I, I can do suggested nudity, um, but I don't think that I would do nudity and that's a personal right. um, boundary, a personal like, uh, that's attached to like a, a moral or, or, or like a something that's personal for you, your own belief, your own value. Yeah. Right. Um, or um, it could be that you don't want to do a scene where you kill an animal or something like right. that. You know, like you can have those personal boundaries. Like, oh, I don't feel comfortable doing this because right. it just like doesn't go in line with my heart. You know, or with right. what makes me feel happy or makes me feel comfortable. I mean, obviously, when you're an actor, you have to be or try to be comfortable with a lot of things that you would never be comfortable with right. in real life. But but you can always have those. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. And Vince, I know that you had some great points. And when you were saying that earlier, you were also talking about how Mariana, as one of your clients and you managing her, how different and how proactive she is. I'm curious from your perspective as well, what you see. Well, you know, I, I see her and it just brings joy to me when I see her. I get up in the morning that she's being active just because we're in quarantine. She's not stopped. Her creative muscle is still getting pumped. She's still working. And I think for me, that's like, yes, yes. In fact, I just pitched her on a project and I actually attach one of your videos from Instagram that you put yeah. out to a casting director. But I wanted I'm to touch base. About I wanted to touch base. <laughs> The year, or last year when we were working on that movie, she called, and I remember getting that call. It was in the evening, and 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 she was not. She didn't. She she didn't have an attitude. It was just a concern. Mm -hmm. When I got off the phone, I could feel her. She she wanted to to look good on this project. So when I got on the phone and called production, I said, "Guys, what are we doing? You have an actress that is giving you her best, but you guys are not meeting her halfway." And as her manager. And I and Mariana, I don't know if I told you, but I did get a little I got a little pushy with them. I says, if you don't straighten up, I'm gonna pull her off the project. Yeah, yeah, so we, he I immediately called me back. He immediately called me back and that 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 problem was solved. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean, but it wasn't she didn't have an ego. It was just she as a manager, you wanted in her voice, you could tell she wanted to give the best yeah. that right. she could on this low budget, unorganized project. And, and it was my job to make sure that she did deliver and hold them accountable. Right. Look, you're getting quality, but you guys need to deliver on your end. So mm -hmm. that, right. uh, you know, that, you know, that absolutely Mariana's, a, she, you know, she's, she's great at that. She's a, she's a team player. And, you know, as I, I there's, there's so many good things. We love Mariana here in the office. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, gonna be and I'm going to brag about both of you because well, I think, 
Well, Vince, one thing that I heard from you um, earlier, whether it was, I'm not sure if it was this morning or this afternoon, for those that do not know, Vince and I talk almost like five to six times a day. I was guilty, Mariana, yesterday I was a little guilty because I called her, I needed to talk to her because, you know, we had Javier here, but he had to cancel because yeah. we're pitching a big movie and he's with a big agency. Mm -hmm. So he had to he had to do this meeting. So yeah. I said you would be a perfect. Yeah, person. take that action. So, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she was with her husband, and I felt guilty because it was my four o'clock or five o'clock. It was her seven eight o'clock, and I'm like, you know what? We can discuss about this tomorrow. Go spend time yeah. with your husband. You know. So yeah, uh, we talk. And a she's lot. like, I spend time with him all day every day in this quarantine. <laughs> it's okay. I think we're still going to talk no, later on. Gone, my my husband runs the public library system and the libraries are closed, but as a city executive, they're still going in understandably. So, cause the city still has to run through social distancing and everything like that. So, um, but, uh, but, but it's okay. Vince see, I mean, Ramiro sees Vince as my brother. He goes, he's yeah. your brother, you know, that you're always together. Um, yeah. mi hermanito. Hermanito. <laughs> But a lot of love that we have with each other. But I will tell you, uh, Mariana, one of the things that really spoke to me of something that Vince stated on, on our call uh, in preparation for today as well is what I loved about it was when he said, he goes, you know, he goes, she was proactive. She was putting herself out on Instagram. She was doing this. And from there came a connection or something else. Do not worry. We won't talk about the project. But how proactive you've been with that. And what I loved to see, and I'm just gonna tell you, this is a friend, the loyalty for you to then call Vince and say, hey Vince, by the way, I got this call, wanna bring you into this yeah. because it's a true relationship that happened. Cause, um, and I'm just gonna speak to you from other careers that I've had. It's beautiful to see that within an individual that says, oh, somebody else would say, oh no, they didn't get it for me first. Mm -hmm. and so oh, that's not, approach is not that I've way. And I just find that like beautiful. That. I've never been like that. Like for me, and, and I've had several managers before and sadly, I am like, for me, um, agents and managers are like family and of mm -hmm. course like the first ones weren't the right fit and you kind of learn that because it's a relationship and you kind yeah, of like mm, let's see how it goes but for me usually when i when i have as soon as i have a manager or an agent i'm like they're my family and mm -hmm. they have my back and absolutely every single project that comes my way i'm like oh yeah here's my manager's information this is go through like this goes through mm -hmm. my manager like i have not done one thing in my life that hasn't been through my current um, manager yeah. or agent. Like, I don't, I don't work like that. I feel like, you know, they, you guys bust your booty every day, submitting us and making calls. Um, and this is like what we have to get back as an actor, you know, like I, there's, it's just how it is. It's a, it's a, it's a web that you have like yeah. the, the network. Um, so yeah, but this project hasn't like, it's not like super official yet, but as soon as it is like, you know, hopefully it will be, um, I'm excited for you. I, I feel it will be, we're putting it out there right now, yeah. we're doing it live. Well, so you, we'll you, tell you later on what it is. Well, you told me a little bit about it and it sounds pretty exciting yesterday. So yeah. I, was, I was very happy for you. I'm very happy. Yeah, me too. We're cheering you on from afar. So with that being stated, um, because I know our time is up, so I would love to know from each of you, what's one thing you want to leave, you know, our live audience with today um, in motivating, empowering, or enacting um, a piece of advice you'd like to give to everybody? Um, I would say um, to give yourself grace. Mm -hmm. This is not easy times that we're living. We don't really have a timeline. We don't know when we'll be out and about or, you know, how long we'll be home. But um, so it's okay to ride the emotions. It's okay to feel mm -hmm. proactive one day and, and not the, the next day or to have like that one week where you just don't have any motivation. But always try um, to create little daily habits. This is just my advice personally mm -hmm. because I live I lived with it. Um, yeah to just create little daily habits, at least two or three things that you can do in the morning that will make you feel centered and kind of proud of yourself. And for me, that could be like doing a little workout, um, a little meditation, and then doing an online class or reading a book, any type of little activity you could do for maybe like anywhere from 10 to 
30 minutes, you know, in mm -hmm. the morning. Um, to get once you get yourself in the habit of doing it, um, it becomes so much easier, and you feel so accomplished, and you feel good, and um, and then you you feel like you're really truly taking um, a step forward during this, and uh, and and just helps your mental health, you know. No, definitely. That was great. That was great. I, love I it. guess for me, I'm going to play off of her. I'm going to ride her wave. Uh, I mean, everything basically she said. But for me, uh, is put your ego aside. You're an artist. I mean, you know, like Mariana, she's an amazing actress and she's worked with a lot of great people. She's put her ego aside. It's not about the ego. It's about the art and, and really excelling in that artistry that you you're, you do, that you that you live for. So, you know, just write that wave that she's writing and uh, enjoy it. Have fun with it. But, you know, don't yeah. let the ego... Because I know with me, I've seen people that are very talented. And mm -hmm. one thing that's kind of has, no, has hurt them is their ego. Mm -hmm. You know, so sometimes the ego can work against you. Right. So put that ego aside exactly. and write that wave that Mariana's writing and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Well, speaking in California terms, I'm going to write both of your waves. I would definitely agree with you on. I almost feel like we have to be like at a football game and go like, yay. Or no, a baseball game for your husband. You know, we'll, we'll do baseball waves. <laughs> exactly. Um, but I will say, um, is you're right. I think that the biggest piece of advice I walked away with today, it still is about the mental health and checking in, giving yourself grace making sure you leave the ego out of the door. And when you're making an ego decision, is it a value decision or is it an ego decision? And I think by taking that time to really feel your gut, it's going to tell you which one it is, but have you, were you still enough to actually hear what's happening? Because I think um, sometimes it, your mind can play tricks on you as well. And so you train it to, to be different. And I am just honestly just grateful to both of you because I will tell you that personally for me as well, sometimes when you see things going on and I can go to your post, it's nice to see that ray of sunshine to go through the stories. And Mariana, I will put on my workout gear and I'm going to join you live tomorrow. I um, need a, and, I need and for, um, for proof. Yes, I will. I, I'm going to actually post an after picture. I'll probably be drenched in sweat. I'm going to go as far as I can I go. I too. Um, I'm doing that. Yes. <laughs> like Vince, you're in with us as well. So which I'm super excited because that is um, uh, 11 o'clock central for us, nine o'clock for you all. Um, and, and I'm excited because also after your workout class, people can then come to X level. So please make sure to follow Mariana PV Sente on Instagram and you can go to do oh. her tough class. It's I'm sorry. Mariana, it's just Mariana Vicente. Oh, Mariana Vicente. Thank you. And it's uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Pacific time. Perfect. Yeah. And then what's great about that is all I know is at 12 o'clock central, I'll put it out there. Taylor is going to be doing a stretching class on X level live. Awesome. So what's great right. is they can After go to workout, the workout, right. and then we can go stretch go together with X level. What a good way to start <laughs> the week. Need it. The weekend. I love it. Well, thank you both. I appreciate you. you. Thank you so much for um, having me. Many more that. blessings, and I'm excited to hear about more projects. And everyone, we look forward. Thank you for joining us on X Level Live. Um, we hope that you'll join us soon uh, for our next one. Michelle Washington will be with us next Thursday, and hopefully, you can work out with us and Mariana tomorrow, or and also stretch with X Level um, at 12 o'clock Central. Love Bye. You. Have a good weekend, guys. Be safe, Bye. Bye. Bye.